Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to monitor Logstash with Metric Beat and see the monitoring data on the Kibana uh, monitoring UI. So here on Kibana, if you go to Stack Monitoring, uh, you can see uh, I am monitoring my uh, Elasticsearch nodes. I have three nodes and the Kibana instance and the Logstash uh, server or instance that I have. And you can go into the overview here, uh, see uh, how many events received, how many events uh, emitted, and the node, how many nodes you have, the uptime, and the pipelines. The pipelines is basically the flow of data from, uh, from the source all the way to Elasticsearch. If you click on the overview here, I'm going to show you what you can monitor, events received, and events emitted, they should look the same. That means Logstash is ingesting data properly. And the latency in milliseconds. You can go to nodes from this screen as well. And you can see um, the node you are monitoring here. If you have any alerts, um, the memory used, uh, what version it is. And you can click on the node itself. And you can look at more data here for the CPU, events, and the system load. And you can go to the pipelines, and I have one pipeline uh, configured for my FortiGate. I called it FortiGate 61E. This is what I have at home, and I'm monitoring. And I have another video on, on how I set up Logstash to monitor um, my FortiGate uh, or to ingest the FortiGate uh, syslogs into Elasticsearch. And if you click on the pipeline, you can see here a graph over time of how many events per second are being uh, emitted and sent to Elasticsearch. And if you click on the pipeline, you can see basically the configuration file of Logstash. Uh, I'm using a UDP input or, or a UDP input plugin. And you can see for every input plugin or every plugin here, how many events uh, received and emitted. I'm using these filters here and you can see for each filter there are stats of how many um, events uh, received and the output here. I'm using Elasticsearch output because I'm sending to Elasticsearch. So under collect uh, Logstash monitoring data with metric beat, this is under the Logstash uh, reference or Logstash documentation and under monitoring Logstash, you have a few steps here to follow disable default collection of monitoring metrics this is in the logstash yaml file and then this is an optional uh, step specify the target cluster uuid and then the one we're going to focus on is install and configure metric beat to collect monitoring data uh, so installation of metric beat you can click on it and you can install it for the system you are using whether it's uh, debian or rpm i use this one and then step two, you go into the metric BTML and configure the output to send your data to Elasticsearch. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you the metric beat um, settings here in my ingestion server. So if I go to metric beat, metric beat.yaml, I'm going to show you here. The important stuff so under setup.kibana i uh, specified the ip address for my kibana instance and then under the output.elasticsearch you specify the hosts or the nodes of your elasticsearch um, uh, cluster and the protocol https uh, username, I'm using Elastic so that Metric Beat can authenticate with the cluster and send the data. And I'm using the CA certificate. And I have another video on how I generated a CA and generated all the node certificates and certificates for uh, the HTTP clients such as uh, Kibana and Logstash. So I'm using this certificate here uh, to authenticate uh, with the cluster. And this is the important part here here in the metric beat yaml this is how we tell metric beat to uh, 
to send the, the metrics to Elasticsearch. And then we have to enable the second step, the log stash XPack module in metric beat. So after we install metric beat, we have a list of modules we can enable and that we want to uh, monitor. For example, you can uh, enable the module for Oracle, the module for Elasticsearch XPAC, if you're monitoring XPAC. And I can do that here. In another video, I enabled um, the Elasticsearch module to, to uh, monitor my nodes with metric beat right now. I'm using the, the default or self-monitoring, but if I want to enable monitoring uh, for the last search nodes with metric beat, I have to enable this one. But right now, what I need to enable is the log stash dash x pack, and I have it already enabled, and you can do that with the command metric beat modules enable and the name of the module you want to enable. So log, log stash dash x pack in my case, and it will tell me it's already enabled. Is already enabled. And sometimes this system module is enabled by default. You can disable it here with metric beat uh, modules, disable and the name of the module you want to disable. And it tells you here in the documentation uh, you can disable the system module. And so after you enable the log stash dash x pack module, what it is doing is basically, if you go here under metric beat modules, and you can see all the modules here, uh, the YAML files dot disabled for any module, what it does is basically, uh, where is it? it removes the dot disabled, and this is the one that we enabled, and you can start configuring it. And I'm gonna go to that file, modules, yeah, no, uh, it is modules, and log slash xpack dot yaml. So after you enable the module, we go into the module itself so that we configure it and tell it uh, what we are monitoring. And we are monitoring the log stash instance, which is the same server. So that's why here on host, I kept uh, I kept here as I kept it as local host, and it is reading for uh, it is using port ninety six hundred. So metric beat is monitoring log stash on the same host. And hosts here is specifying the host we are monitoring from on port 9600 so that, uh, so also you can, um, or you should open port 9600 on this host. And metric sets, uh, I kept these here by default, the period, and then I enabled SSL so you say SSL.enabled is true, and we're using the CA certificate again, and you specify where it is located, or you put the path for that uh, certificate. And of course, XPAC enabled, you say uh, it is true. And to open the port, you have to go firewall dash dash add port 9600, TCP and you say permanent and mine is already open and you can check with firewall command dash list all and these are the ports that I have opened on this uh, monitor so metric B12 will we'll use this port um, to monitor uh, to monitor the metrics from Logstash. So I didn't use the username and password because I'm using the certificate. So if I go back here, I have username and password commented out because I'm using the certificate authorities. And after that, 
this is optional disable the system module in metric beat so we did that and identify where to send the monitoring data and this is where you set up the metric beat yaml and i showed you this one where you um, set up where metric beat is sending the data uh, it is sending to Elasticsearch. You put the Elasticsearch host and the username and password, and I have the certificate as well. And if you don't want to use the Elastic uh, built-in user, you can create a user under here, under Stack Management Users. You can create a user and give it a built-in role, uh, which is this one, the Remote Monitoring Agent or you can give it the built-in, uh, or you can use the built-in user, remote monitoring user. But for this one, it's saying you have to uh, uh, give it additional privileges. But I'm just using the CA certificate. Add the username and password. So I'm using the Elastic user. And this is all in the metric beat metric beat yaml here and then the last step is to start metric beat um, and this is depending on your uh, on your uh, system so I used service metric beat start and after it starts you can check if it started with this command system control status metric beat and you can see that it's running and you don't have any errors here so we should be good and already I have it enabled and running so that you can check all the metrics coming from log stash and if I here if I exit setup mode I can see the things I am monitoring only. And this is everything for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.